Speaking English is just one of the many skills movie actors are often required to have. But it's a skill that not all movie actors and actresses develop at the same level. Let's watch together some of our favorite movie actors and actresses and check how good their English is. Before we check a few of your favorite movie stars among the ones we've picked for today, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way you won't miss out on any of our videos about English and other languages. Done? Thank you. <laughs> it is, it, you know, it revolves around the theme of family and yeah. uh, family that you're born into mm -hmm. uh, and uh, family that you find along the way. You know, it also talks about, you know, the desire to fit in, you know, that all these people that they gather because they just want to belong to something. They want to have somebody watching their backs and, you know, the show explores all that. Could you even think this man is not a native English speaker? I mean, come on, his English is so good. He uses a wide range of vocabulary. He uses phrasal verbs. He uses expressions such as the desire to fit in and to have somebody watching their back. I am impressed. Obviously, living in an English speaking country for a long time has made a positive impact on his fluency, but we cannot deny that Rodrigo Santoro is a great inspiration for all of our Brazilian students out there. Because in Ghana, I wasn't expecting such a wonderful, wonderful prize. So I was out of my mind, out of space, completely uh, discombobulated. So I, <laughs> Wait a minute. I, you can't say most other words, but you can say discombobulated. That's great. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I love accents and I love this particular interview with Roberto. Roberto's English is obviously not as good as Rodrigo's, the previous actor, but he made himself understood. He didn't always himself understand the natives. However, he wasn't ashamed to ask them to repeat or even bothered having them making fun of his English. And that's something that I want to point out to all English learners. Be prepared for native to not always understand you or even laugh at you if you mispronounce a word or make a funny mistake. Don't take it as an offense. Just laugh it off and learn by it. In fact, we, native English speakers, we really appreciate it when a non-native tries to speak our language and makes an effort to speak it. That's why we don't expect you to speak it perfectly. And regarding accent, unless it stops you from making yourself understood, never be embarrassed of it. Do you know why? An accent brings identity. It tells others who you are. That's why at Mosa Lingua, we celebrate all different types of accents. Okay, okay, enough talking now. Let's watch the next actor. It, it came, it, yeah, I did when I came here first because oh. I tried to learn English and, uh, and I started to watch TV and I watched uh, CNN. And they were talking so fast. I said, okay, I'm, I will never learn this language. And uh -huh. I said, okay, the, the day I will understand them, I will be Wengel. So I started, um, I tried another channel, it was um, Bravo. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I started with the Kardashians. Never say never. Chapeau, Monsieur C. Omar's English has improved so much throughout the years and his French accent has reduced significantly. It's very gratifying to see him speak English so well and also very satisfying to see him shine as an actor. Okay, in the next clip, we'll see two talented ladies that have a lot in common besides their looks and their professions. Their accents also sound very similar. One of them is from Mexico and the other one is from Spain. Can you guess who they are? Related to Penelope Cruz. Not, my, not by blood, but she is like a sister to me. I like, eat a lot. You like eat a lot. Like, so. I eat more than all of my friends. Yeah. yeah. Except for Salma, she and okay. I eat a lot. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, enigmatic, extraordinarily beautiful, Penelope Cruz. Do you understand what I mean about celebrating accents and not being ashamed of them? Both of these ladies have strong accents, and they sound 
beautiful. I can't imagine either of these women speaking differently. Their English is not perfect, but it's still very good at an advanced level, I would say. And I'd say the reason their English sounds so similar is because they share the same mother tongue, Spanish. Let's briefly watch Penelope Cruz again further on into that interview because she does something interesting there. I don't know the word in English. This yeah. pressurization, this depressurization. Oh, oh depressurization. De yes. There's no pressure in the cabin. Who is filling a costume uh, card? A custom card. Oh, custom costume immigration. Card. Okay. See, when she doesn't know a specific word in English, she just tries to get it out or asks the listener about it. And to me, this represents great communication and confidence. Be confident when you speak English, even if it's not your mother language. Did you know that there are actually more people in the world that speak English as a second language than as a first language? Yes, non-native English speakers exceeds native English speakers. And there are two other languages in the world that have more native speakers before the English language. Spanish comes in second place with more than 450 million native speakers around the planet. Can you figure out which language comes in first position? The next actor we will watch is a hint to the answer. Hi, I'm Jackie Chan. I'm going undercover in the internet. I train myself. Morning karate, afternoon hapkido, at night boxing, mid of the night health club. So this is why I can live 80 years old, looks like a 60. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jackie Chan have the same accent. No, his accent is more... I'll be back. My accent is still like a baby, quite sexy. Jackie Chan, he's one of my favorites. So, which language has the most native speakers before English and Spanish? Chinese, of course. But as you can see, if you want to make it to Hollywood, you have to learn English. Even if your accent still sounds like a baby after many years. <laughs> Jackie Chan. Our next actor is shamefully not a household name yet, but deserves to be mentioned. Daniel Brühl. But I also met former drivers of his generation, uh, Jackie Stewart and Nelson Piquet, and I could see the difference between those rock and roll guys in the 70s mm. and the, the modern drivers. I have the track record here. I'm the only person in history to do the ring in under seven minutes. So actually, it's to my advantage to race it today. Because I'm quicker than all of you. <laughs> it's impressive how Daniel can just fake an accent, as we just saw in this movie clip from Rush. Daniel has an advantage though. He's half German and half Spanish, and he was raised multilingual. He grew up speaking German, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. Then at school, he learned to speak English. He's a true polyglot, and that makes him a catch-all for international and national roles. We hope to see more of Daniel on a big screen in the future. And to finish off, we'll watch two movie stars who share the same nationality. They are both Swedish, and I chose to incorporate these video clips of them because Scandinavians are known to be the best non-native English speakers. So let's check if Alicia Vinkanda, better known as Lara Croft, and Alexander Skarsgård, Tarzan, can prove this to you. <laughs> Let's see if we can to eat. It's probably one of my biggest hobbies in life. I don't eat much red meat, but apart from that, I kind of eat everything. What language does Alyssa Vikanda speak? I'm trying with my English. <laughs> it's not my native language, it's Swedish. No, I was, uh, I was uh, born and raised in Sweden. And uh, we have something in Sweden called Jantelagen, the law of Jante. I say Jantelagen? Jantelagen. <laughs> and it's a real thing. It's, and it's the law of Jante. And it basically means um, don't think you're special. It's more like of a code of conduct. What can I say? They just sound like natives to me. Flawless. Alicia sounds more British due to the fact she's lived in England for a while. And Alexander sounds more North American. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed listening to all these marvelous accents. If you're a non-native English speaker, did you identify yourself with one of these actors in terms of accents? 
Tell me in the comment box which was your favorite. I hope they inspired you, but anyway, don't compare yourself too much with these people because learning language is an individual process. Take care and bye-bye. If you learned something new from this video, give it a thumbs up. Then hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Have a look around our channel for more hacks and tips. And if you're watching on another social media platform, like or follow our page. See you next time.